Hi everyone, this is a video that I put together to support um, what my expectations are for you in this course. Um, I do use Blackboard to communicate, to make sure that you are up to date with your grades, so that you can turn things in at times, um, and also so that um, you can have access to any of the important materials and everything. So as you can see here, um, this is the same email that I sent to you when we met on May 9th and um, you can always come across these um, in announcements. It's, it says right here announcements slash emails because I, I, I tend to send these out as emails. If you are looking for something and you're like, oh, I think she sent that to us in an email, you can always come back here and um, all of these are archived for the semester. Next is the getting started. So the universities put together these first steps that you need to take as soon as you um, start your course here at Toro. So the first one is establish your Toro College email connection. So remember we can only send you emails from your Toro to your Toro email address. Um, and then the second one is to download and read the course syllabus which I have right here. Um, and I'll also be providing um, in class or talking about in class. Next you need to sign the academic integrity policy and then you need to become familiar with the Blackboard course site and weekly folders. So here we go, we've got the navigating the um, Toro College system and if you want to that just links you to the, to the portal um, and then also the um, web Blackboard and if you need any Blackboard help then um, you can use that or also here you'll see that it says Blackboard help. Um, so the next thing is the college policies and here's where we've just got a quick reference for how to use Blackboard um, and this you need you do need to do. So you click on this integrity statement and um, let me just bring that over a little and you'll hit begin and it'll just give you I think it's true or false or multiple choice questions on your academic integrity um, and this just explains what it is and we, really what we're doing is just reminding students uh, what cheating looks like and what will happen fabrication plagiarism unauthorized collaboration and also how to fill uh, how we fa facilitate academic dishonesty um, also, the grade values are here as well, and our incomplete policy, disability, accommodations, and also how to add and drop a course. So all of those are right underneath the getting started. Next is the instructor information, um, and this is me right here. Um, my email address, my work phone, my office phone, but I also have my personal cell phone here. Um, and. Um, I my office is actually um, Wilderman Hall room 206 um, interestingly enough it's actually on the first floor when, as soon as you walk in the door you turn to your left and that's where the 200s are um, my office hours um, are Tuesday 2 to 4 but you can also make an appointment um, anytime through email you can call you can text um, and also you can see some of my bio um, if you are interested there. Um, I usually get back to emails within about an hour, um, but I do kind of give myself the 24 to 48 hours um, to respond just in case. But yeah, my, um, usually it's pretty immediate when I, re when I respond. So here's the syllabus and it's all printed out there plus there's a PDF version right here. This is subject to change so please keep that in mind but I do go through and give you all the different sessions that we're either meeting online or face to face and um, go through all of the different assignments. Um, the next piece is the assignment list and due date. So I tell you which week it's due and the point level and these are all the different assignments and also which requirement it, it meets for this um, for this course. And then you can see when you click on baseline activity, for example, it's due on the 14th of June, it's worth 10 points. Um, I tell you what resources to use, and then you can actually see that there's a document right here. So you can click on that, it downloads, and then when you open this up, you can see here's the activity and you can just type right into this or cut and paste things or screenshot things and put them in um, and uh, and then you'll file save as and then you can upload it so um, you'll probably be browsing your computer to upload 
uh, because rewriting it, uh, the whole thing would be a lot. But if you did want to do that, then you would just click on Write Submission and then write in here. But because it's such an uh, incredibly long document, I would recommend saving it um, with your name and then uh, browsing your computer and attaching that file. Um, and let's see, okay, so we're going to hit Cancel there. And then the next assignment is the um, Topic Development Activity. And you, I always put the due date, if you notice, the due dates for all the different assignments for this class. I have the rubrics in here as well. So you have that. Um, and you can see that the participation is the last one. Uh, you do need to be present for every class. Um, uh, if you're going to miss more than um, one class, I might take this um, course in another semester and that's just a recommendation that I have. We have a lot to get done this this semester so we want to make sure that we're really on top of things. So anyway that's the assignments. The next is the PowerPoints and the supports. So here's the PowerPoint from the May 9th meeting and then this was what I asked you to do, the tasks that I asked you to complete. This is the link to the Google Drive so why don't we just um, click on this and you can see this is um, SPEC 726 summer course. We have APA support, we have EndNote support, IRB support, uh, peer-reviewed materials, um, the research design uh, rubrics. Um, these are the matrices. So this is one of your assignments is to create your uh, matrix in here. And I can see that everyone, almost everyone has their matrix. Um, uh, created at this point and you just needed to use the template that I provided. I did provide another column that explains what each one of the um, uh, of these um, uh, criteria means. So you know the purpose of the study being who, what, when, where, why, and how the problem is examined, etc. And so that's just to kind of guide you. Um, one big thing that is really helpful is if you always write a little note about how this study is connected to your topic and then any other thoughts that you have, um, that's just kind of optional, but it's there. Um, let's go back. And um, yeah, and then of course our Zoom meeting on uh, for our first class, here's the link for that and you'll just click open zoom and then it'll open it up. I want my uh, um, to, to hit join by audio um, and of course your face will need to be on it and then the big thing here is to make sure that the meeting number matches the meeting number of the meetings. So this ends with a 957. Let's take a look here. 957 so that must be the correct meeting. Um, and then for the first class on June 7th, I have the PowerPoint I'll be going over there. This is our agenda. And then I've highlighted the different due dates. So that you've got two things, one by June 14th you need to do, one on June 14th that we'll be doing, and then by the 21st what, what the expectation is. And I'll be going over that as well um, on June 7th. So then um, you can always check your grades. You can see this is all the assignments for the course and you can kind of see where you are. And um, let me think, is there anything else? I think that's about it. Um, as I mentioned, I, I always, when we, when we meet, um, I'll put the PowerPoints and any support materials here. Um, you turn your assignments in here. And then, of course, if you have any questions, you email or call um, because I am here to help you and I just want to see us have the best semester we possibly can. Um, just a reminder that there are some thesis examples uh, right here. Um, and then oh, there's the PowerPoint from the ninth meeting as well. Um, I've put your attendance in here. Um, and these are the three online days, so you'll need to schedule a time with me. It can be one of these chunks of time, or we can go at um, a time that works for everybody. Um, and then on the 28th, we'll be using um, a feedback form. And so you'll just write out, you know, after Alexis uh, presents, then you will uh, go through and type out um, the responses to that. So. Um, and let me think, is there anything else we have here? I think that's it. So anyway, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. And also uh, let me know about your progress on your topic. And if you um, 
you know, the big thing is to make sure that you actually do have a topic um, and at least about five articles by uh, the 7th when we meet. Have a great day.